Hi, let's see the new features of Plasma 5.22. The first one is this one, I've done it, and it's adaptive transparency. That is, if you open up an application and then maximize it, look at the panel, you can see that it gets opaque, whereas if you demaximize it, it gets back to being transparent. If you look into the settings of the panel, you can see that you can actually choose whether you want your panel to be adaptive or always opaque if you don't like transparency, that's fine, or always transparent if you really love it. The next big feature, which I actually can't show, is the menu search. It's only a WLAN, so not X11 but I've done it, this animation that shows to you that if you add the menu widget, there's a new item which is called search that allow us for you to actually search through the menu items, similarly to what we've been doing with the new Power App HUD, but also working on third-party apps like Inkscape. The next one is system settings. If you pop up system settings, you can see that there's a whole new welcome page that allows you to choose between a light and a dark theme, the animation speed, whether you want a different wallpaper or more appearance settings. And also, since many users change this, whether you want a single click to open folders or select them, plus more behavior settings. It also includes links to the most used settings if you want to use them. And then finally, there's also a new look for the calendar. If you click on the time, you can see that this applet has been completely redesigned. Now you can switch more easily between days, months and years, and also switch between, you know, past years and future years. And you can also see that on the left, you have events. And if you have different time zones, you will also have a header here showing time zones and a list of time zones. Finally, the last thing I wanted to show, which is the last big change from Plasma 5.21, is the new wallpaper. You've probably already seen it, but I think it's lovely. At first I was a bit undecided on whether I liked it or not, but at the end I think that all Plasma wallpapers are beautiful. And that was pretty much everything. There's much more, obviously these were only the very big changes. If you look into the Plasma announcement, this is just a draft. You can see all of the changes, even the smaller ones like sticky notes, cases, cards, and more stuff coming up. The system tray was also a bit polished and so on, notification calendar, and of course we're still working on making Kwin work nicely on Wayland. So please test out 5.22 and tell me what do you think about it. I think it's a great release and well at this point I can't wait for Plasma 5.23 because I've already seen some cool stuff coming up.